Let's get into a subject that I am extremely passionate about. In the workplace, which one wins? Logic or rank? It's not as simple as you think. Intuitively, you will say logic should always win. On today's episode, I'm going to teach you a trick or a hack to make sure that that always happens, even if you are outranked by the person making a decision. Let's get into it. It doesn't matter whether you're selling a tangible product or delivering a consumer a service. There are certain processes and procedures which need to take place within a company structure. If those processes and procedures are effective, normally that's when the company grows and it explodes. However, the book Barbarians to Bureaucrats describes this fairly well. You have the pioneers of a company, the guys that are go-getters, the drivers, that eventually evolve into bureaucrats. They just want to sit in the ivory towers. They've got no more touch and feel with actually what's going on in the market and they enforce rules based upon ideas that are not actionable on the ground. So, does logic overpower rank? It absolutely should. You will be placed in position sometimes as an employee, as a driven person that wants to grow within a company structure that you have to sometimes challenge respectfully, but you have to challenge the status quo. You have to go up to your manager and say, listen, I feel that we can do this, 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 and this better. And if you're working for a weak or insecure leader, they will see that as a threat, and I've seen it many, many times. They will get rid of you. They will somehow suppress your ability to voice your opinion, and eventually you'll be pushed out of that company. So if you find yourself in a situation like that, don't worry, I've got a hack for you. If you, however, find yourself within a company culture where your voice is heard, you are able to speak to the decision maker that can potentially adjust the process. For example, small thing, in our wash bay, we used to park our vehicles a certain way. We could get about eight vehicles in the wash bay at the same time. The wash bay manager went up to the managing director of the company and he said to him, listen, what do you think about shifting the cars this way? We can potentially get four cars in extra over eight hour day. We can wash many more cars. He said, okay, cool, let's try it. Did the change, saw the result, called a very big meeting and said, according to Jim Pitt, this is the way that we should have done it up to so far. We were in the wrong doing it this way. We changed it. We can wash extra 40 cars a day. Well done. Congratulations. You know, thank you very much for being forward thinking. That's an open environment where it's okay to challenge. If you are working for a leader that is very egotistic, he doesn't ever want to give shine over to anybody else. The hack that you can use potentially is go to that person and say, sir, let's call him Mr. John. Mr. John, I've been thinking about something, but I'm way too inexperienced to make a decision like this and present it to the necessary people. How about you take a look at this process? I thought maybe if we change one or two things here, 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 and here, we could potentially get a different outcome. I'm not well experienced in this specific field like you are, but potentially you can have a look at it and maybe you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Now that way, you will make sure that that person is able to say face and say to you, okay, I looked at it. If we change one or two things, we will be able to do ABC better. So congratulations. I think you brought me a nice idea. Without my input, it would have never worked. But yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Even though it's his idea that you've implanted in him or in his head, you will still get that recognition from that person. And eventually, if you do it enough times, you will grow within that company structure. I hope that this hack makes sense to you. I hope that you use it in a way that is not manipulative, but rather in a way that will make sure that it allows the person with a big ego to save face, not target you, but still improve the process and procedure within a company. If you do this enough times, trust me, you will be noticed and you will be 
given more and more responsibility, which will ultimately grow you into the leader that you deserve to be. Thank you very much. If you do like the information that we share with you, please hit the like button. Also, the subscribe and ring the bell. Have a great day, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.